We are joined by Ethan Chisler after Port Vale's 1-0 win to Northampton and started off by what a win and what are your thoughts on the game? Yeah, it's brilliant. Obviously, I think the fans played a massive part cheering us on throughout. Um, I think, obviously, we kept the ball. I thought we, we maintained possession well in, in their half. Um, transitions were good. Um, and it took, you know, bo the boys coming on, bringing the energy on um, the pitch to, to make the difference. So, yeah, really pleased. And one of our positives this season is how well we come out of the blocks in the second half. Just how much does that help us as a team, knowing that we've sort of got that reputation now in the league? Yeah, I think also, I think, to be honest, I think the way we start games as well, um, it's been a massive, you know, if we, if we can stamp our authority on the game early on, then, um, you know, it always, it always benefits us. So, um, yeah, I think starting both halves very well is, is massive for us. And um, it's, it's how we finish games as well. We finish strong. So, yeah, long may it continue. Second in the league now with an extra game in hand, which is obviously against Burton on a Tuesday mm -hmm. night. So as a footballer, I know you're always excited for a season, but surely you've got to be extra excited, for, especially from the start of the season that we've had. Yeah, I think we listen, we're trying to take it one game at a time. And I think that's worked for us so far this year. Um, we obviously didn't have the, the best of starts, but I think in, in a way it's been a blessing in disguise. Uh, we've reacted well and um, we've got an amazing squad, good personalities, good people above everything. So, yeah. Maybe the tiniest, tiniest little downfall of the season is that the margin we win by games, you know, taking chances, I know in the first half we could have been up by three or four goals. So is that something that we're trying to rectify on the training ground day by day? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we, we take it up upon ourselves as attacking and creative players to try create and score goals. Um, it, it might take it might take 70, 80, 90 minutes, um, but we're, we're doing it. Um, yeah. The main thing is, like you like said today, we get, we get the three points and get over the line. So. Best. Thank Cheers, you. mate. Thank you. Thank you. Right, I'm joined with James Plant after Port Vale's 1 0 win over Northampton. And I have to say, just like I said to Chizzy, what a result. Yeah, great result, obviously. Um, we had a lot of momentum before the break, so it was one of them can we get back to it straight away? And that's what we've done. Obviously, uh, they set off in the second half, and it was just seemed like a matter of time to the goal, and we got it in the end. So, absolutely buzzing, to be honest. And how happy are you to see sort of solidify yourself in that starting 11? Yeah, I'm obviously buzzing. Um, obviously got the nod to play today and that's all I want to do every week to be honest, just keep playing, keep being in that starting eleven and winning games. Um, there's a lot of competition so I know I've got to stay on it if I want to play you know, a good amount of games this season but hopefully, fingers crossed, we keep going as we are and I keep playing. And as a homegrown boy from the academy, do you have that extra little bit of passion? Is that what drives you on? Well, I, I like to think so. I, you know, I love the club and I want to give everything every week um, but as you can see from the other lads, they leave everything out there as well. So I don't think I give I give 100%, but I think everyone else gives 100% as well. So, yeah. Burton, um, on Tuesday, how are we looking forward to that then? We've got a game in hand. Bearing in mind, we are joint top. So if we win that, we go two points clear. Are we thinking for that? Yeah, I can't wait for it. We'll do the exact same we have for every other game. We'll look to it, how we can uh, expose their weaknesses and nullify their strengths. Um, and yeah, a chance for us, as you say, to go top of the league, which we won't really look at too much. It's more about three points and look again to the weekend after that. James, top man, mate. Top man. See Ooh. you in a bit. Right, and joined by Ben Garrity after Port Vale's 1-0 win. And Ben, the goal scorer, what a feeling it must have been. Yeah, buzzing. Buzzing to come on and score. Um, obviously, the lads grinded them down for the majority of the game, but um, ended up coming on and getting a winning goal, so it was buzzing. And obviously the limbs in the crowd are one of the best I've ever seen at Vale Park on a personal basis. So as a player that's you know scored that and made those limbs, how you know exotic, sorry, erratic must you feel on the pitch? It's the best feeling, isn't it? I, I'm a fan myself and I watch Liverpool and you score last minute winners and buzzing so I know the feeling. Right, and obviously Tuesday played Burton, okay, as I said, uh, to Planty. It's a chance to go top of the league with two points uh, clear. How are we feeling towards that? Yeah, I don't think I think it's a bit early to be looking at the the table. Um, so much can change as we know from last season in such a short time. So I think we've just got to concentrate on um, doing our thing on the pitch, and then hopefully we get the points. And you know, with two young loanees coming in, you've sort of seen yourself drop to the bench for a couple of games. So as a player, how do you bounce back to that and show um, Crosby that you deserve to be in the starting eleven? Frustrating. Um, obviously, I want to be on the pitch playing, don't I? But it's frustrating not playing. But you just got to make sure you're ready when you get your chance. Cheers, Ben. No worries, mate.